Should you get a brand new cybersecurity certification that was just released? Every so often, there's a new certification released that's focused on cybersecurity or really just IT in general, and this question seems to pop up again. Lately, the question has been popping up in video comments regarding the Google cybersecurity certificate. So in this video, I wanna dissect this question and talk about why it is or isn't a good idea to get the latest and greatest certification. So if you aren't familiar with what certifications are or what they mean in our industry, let's talk about that first. Basically in cybersecurity, IT, and basically the tech career field as a whole, we don't have any official certification, license, or credential that says you can practice the profession. Anybody who can use a computer is technically able to study various topics and try to get a job in the industry. That being said, we have certifications that were put into the industry to help standardize some of the things that we're learning so both new and existing professionals can use common terminology and they have a base understanding of similar topics. Frequently, employers use these certifications as criteria to help them sort through potential job candidates when they're hiring. Current employees might actually get raises for certain certifications. And some industries like the Department of Defense in the United States build specific certifications into contracts that employees have to satisfy. Now that you understand what a certification is from a high level, let's talk about some common examples that exist. CompTIA is one of the most well-known certification providers in the industry, and they created options like the A+, the Network+, and the Security+. Now the A+, was originally launched in 1993, the Network+, in 1999, and the Security+, in 2001. So all three options have been around for over 20 years. If you go to a job board like Indeed and search for each one of these certifications, you'll see that the A plus returns over 4 million results, the Network Plus over 400,000 results, and the Security Plus over 700,000 results. I don't want you to necessarily focus too hard on that specific number because there's a lot of different jobs and reasons why those are so high but understand that overall, they show up a lot. CompTIA has built long-standing relationships with the Department of Defense or DOD in the United States. And like I said earlier, these certifications are almost always built into DOD contracts with companies. That means that you need one of the certifications depending on the contract to work in a specific job on that contract. Let's take another common certification example, which is the CISSP from ISC Squared or the CISP. Now this was originally released in 1994 and it's really geared towards management level professionals. If we go on to Indeed again, we'll see over 10,000 job results that return with CISSP listed. Okay, so we know that these certifications that have been around for a while have some real solid results to get returned. But what about something a little bit newer? Well, let's take the OSCP from Offensive Security, which is all about penetration testing. This was launched in 2006, but it only returns 778 job results. What about the Blue Team Level 1 or BTL1 from Security Blue Team? Well, this is released in 2021 and it's difficult really to find any results with it. One of the conclusions that we can identify from these different results is that the longevity or the length of time that a certification has been in the market along with the area that certification focuses on are gonna make a huge difference in what employers think about it. I always tell people that it takes at least a decade or more, so 10 years or more, for a certification to make any major impact on the industry and what employers are looking for. It doesn't matter if a certification is the highest quality thing ever because that's not ultimately the most important thing to consider. At least it shouldn't be the first thing that you consider. If you're enjoying the content so far, make sure to leave a like so that YouTube knows this content is helpful for other people. Also make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon that way you get notified about future content when it drops. Make sure to check out the description because I've also left some resources related to this video. Are you tired of overpaying for cybersecurity training? Are you interested in training from industry professionals? Are you looking for cybersecurity career services? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then CyberTrainingPro.com is the perfect platform for you. At CyberTrainingPro, we're a one-stop shop for all your cybersecurity needs. We can train you for industry certifications or just improve your overall knowledge and skills in a certain area. Unlike other platforms, we don't stop there. We can also coach you throughout your career, practice your interview skills, or create a high-performing resume with our career services. CyberTrainingPro.com isn't just another training platform. Students get exclusive access to our private community where we go beyond training courses to provide additional content, tips and tricks, 
and engagement with both other students and staff. Look, by the year 2025, there could be as many as 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity. With so much opportunity, why not maximize your career potential with a platform that cares about your success? Come join us at cybertrainingpro.com and start building your future today. All right, let's get back to the content. Now you might still be sitting there saying, well, employers can't just depend on certifications that have been around forever. Some of them become older obsolete eventually and new better certifications eventually come out too. And that's an accurate set of statements. That said though, another thing that matters is the track record of employees with those certifications. Ultimately, employers want to feel comfortable with certifications that new hires have to help prove their skills. So do you think they'll feel comfortable with a brand new certification that doesn't have people showing that they have the skills right away? I don't think so. Just for the Security Plus alone, CompTIA says that more than 700,000 people have been certified. That's a huge number of people, and of course I'm sure there's people across the entire range of skill, but that's a ton of evidence. Additionally, if an employer has a certification themselves, so the hiring manager, they're much more likely to understand what it takes to pass versus a certification they're unfamiliar with. One of the things that people frequently lose track of is with certifications, the point is to help you get a job. That's it. Sure, they're great to provide structure to your learning, but the point of the credential itself is to help you get a job. The sooner that people accept that fact and use it to their advantage, the better success it's likely to result. Question of the day. Which certification are you studying for right now or are you pursuing next? Let me know down in the comment section below. After all the information that we've covered, it should be fairly obvious that although the content and certification certainly matters, your order of priority when it comes to those certifications that you choose should be driven first by what employers are asking for and the overall industry demand. I said it and I'll say it again, it takes over 10 years for certifications to make any major impact in the industry, which means that if it's new today, well, you're gonna be well into your career and you probably won't even need that certification when it's actually popular. Don't be fooled by people hyping up a certification. If you aren't sure, search for the certification on a job board like Indeed to find your answer. Of course, you can always come ask me too. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more resources related to this video, and I'll see you next time.